you all are doing well. Happy to say that I'm getting tremendous positive response for project demos which I have uploaded. So I have decided to resume back with this project presentation series. We'll bring for you more exciting projects which will be helpful for you in your academics. Hoping for more response as always. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, share, please click on the bell icon. And if you have any queries related to the projects, please mail to us. We will sure help you. Now, without wasting time, let's start with today's project presentation. Today, I have brought you with one project that is hotel billing system or restaurant billing system you can see. This system is developed using Python and the main concepts of Python which I am using is TK Inter library for GUI and I am going to use backend as MySQL for storing database. Okay, so the main front end I have developed using TK Inter GUI library and the back end which I am using for storing the database is MySQL. Okay, now in this project, what are the main things I have tried to implement? First, the login system means one screen which will be for login user will authenticate it and then the user will enter into the main application okay so one part is login and then when the user enters into the main screen different parts i have given like maintaining different items okay item management in which i have done basic code operations like inserting the records inserting products, deleting products, searching product, then updating the products, all that operations we have done. Next is generating bill, which is very important part. Now, bill generation is one thing and fourth, I have provided some reports. Now in that reports, we can view all the available products which this hotel sells, different items like different vegetarian, non-vegetarian, in different categories like main course categories, it can be beverages category, hot drink category, desserts category, whatever. So different products list you can see, different customers list, those who have purchased anything or those who have done the billing in this hotel the customer list then you can print the bill by giving the bill number in the reports part you can see the daily collection whatever bills are generated on that day that you can see in the reports okay so these are the basic things which i have put into the reports part okay so let's quickly move on to the demonstration part first i'll just show you the database which is being created now in mysql through xam server i have created one database for the restaurant the name of the database is restaurant and the main tables are the admin table in which admin details are there then i have created another table that is item table in which different item information like item number, item name, item type, whether it is vegetarian, non-vegetarian and then the price of the item. And then we have the bill in which we will be storing what is the bill number, bill date, for which customer, the phone number of the customer, what was the total of the bill, how much GST was given, CST, GST and then the final bill. And there is a bill details in which we have stored all the items which are purchased in that bill. So you can see along with the bill number, the item number is also recorded. Get it? Now let's quickly move on to the project part. 
Now I have already opened and kept PyCharm and in that PyCharm this restaurant billing project is developed. The folder I have created and this project as I said it is implemented using Python and we have used TK Inter as a GUI. Okay. So all these Python scripts are created. I have created a DB folder, the tables folder, tables file in which I have created all the MySQL tables. Okay. Now in this there is a main py file that is login. So we will start running with this login part. I will right click on it, run login. The login window will appear. This is my login window. I will enter the login ID and the password. I have given login ID as admin and the password also as admin. The moment I click on login, it will give you whether the login is successful or not. If it fails, appropriate message come. Now login is successful. This is the main window, my main application window. Okay, in which the first option is items. When I click on item, the item screen appears in which you can see auto generated item number is there. Give the item name, item type in the drop down, price of the item and you click on add. Okay, like for example, I'll add um, one paneer tikka masala suppose and then the type I'll put as wedge the price I'll put 220 and I click on add you can see the message record saved successfully okay same way you can search any product according to the ID like suppose I'm giving ID 1 okay so it displays the product you can make changes and then you can click on update or you can click on delete okay so these are the basic code operations which I perform on item table Let's move on to the next part that is generating bill, which is the main part of this project. This project will be useful for all small cafes also, different hotels. For them, it's really going to be useful. Click on this bill. Here, auto bill number is generated. Then today's date only comes by default. Then you have to enter the name of the customer, the phone number, then the item which he is purchasing. The moment he selects the item, the admin selects the item which that customer is purchasing. The type and the price will come. You have to enter quantity and click on add. It will get added in this grid. Let's see one demonstration. I am entering my name. I am entering the phone number. And I will click on the product. Now you can see just now we had added Paneer Tikka. The moment I click on Paneer Tikka, it shows veg 220 getting and the quantity you can enter. Suppose I'm entering three quantity add. It gets added in the grid. You can select some other product also like I'm giving all, uh, some products I had already added in the database. So Alu roll suppose to add. It also gets added and the total you can see. Now when I click on this save, this bill will get saved. And here again the new bill number will be generated. See here. The message come, record is saved. And can you see the new bill number has come. Okay. Now let's see the reports part. You can see in the reports a drop down list come. Item list when I click. It displays the list of all the items which this hotel sells. Okay. Along with their ID, name, type, price. Same way if I click on customer list, so it is giving the list of customers who have till now purchased from this hotel. Okay, then print bill. If I give the bill number, now just now we generated bill number three. When I click on it, it displays this printed bill with bill number, bill date, the name of the customer, phone, all the quantity products which the customer has taken along with the total CST, GST and the grand total, right? And then coming to daily collection, when I click on daily collection, it will ask you for the date. Suppose I'm entering 2021, 10, 
and 30 okay you you have to enter it in this format okay so it gives you the list of all the bills okay but now i guess for today's day i have given something wrong okay so whatever bills are generated for that day are displayed here right okay see now let's see that again in the print bill sorry huh. print bill bill number i'll give bill number 3 okay it is 2021 10 30 it was supposed to print it we will see the daily collection 2021 10 30 see can you see so main thing is i had given some date wrong i guess now it is showing so for today's day these bills were generated okay along with the total so if there are many bills generated all their bill number the date amount come and the grand total so this total will help the house uh, that hotel or the restaurant to get a tally of how much bills are generated for today's day getting so he can calculate the profit or loss from that way. right so i hope you have liked this project please don't forget to comment and if you are interested in it you can if you are interested in this project you can always contact me on my given email id in the description box getting thank you all of you take care soon coming with some more projects more exciting projects of different languages thank you all of you take care